Hey y'all, Angel here. I'm doing March Lit's Crate. I really like. Actually, no, this is February's Lit Crate. Oh, Jesus. It is March now. But anywho, here it is. Uh, let's get to it. This month's theme was Dead, which is pretty morbid, but pretty cool. <laughs> first things first, is this awesome? Little cute big Deadpool. Eating blazing doorknobs of death. Banana face. He'll look great up there with everyone else. Um, we have oh, the shirt. It's a Deadpool shirt. Woohoo! Deadpool. Yay! I love Deadpool. He's probably one of my favorite heroes. Deadpool! <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Now we have the pin. They changed the design of the Loot Crate pins. Now they're um, not circles anymore, they're cutouts. I particularly don't really fancy it, but it is what it is. Um, a Walking Dead line bag. Let's see what we got in here. comes with instructions on how to assemble it. Also, very cool. There are displays for it. It doesn't come with a display though. And it looks like we got Rick. I'm going to admit, like, I haven't watched The Walking Dead since season two. I think I just haven't watched it. It's on Netflix. I might watch it and, like, catch up or whatever, but I used to watch it religiously, like, every Sunday I would watch it, but I just kind of, it lost, I lost interest in it in the middle of, like, season two, season three. So, oh, he's got a little stand. Uh, the bottom of the stand is, like, Legos on it. I'm wondering if these are for like a Lego thing or something. Uh, let me just put this there. There we go. Little little guy. I think it's Rick. They don't tell me who it is, which is pretty awful because what if you get a look great and you don't know anything about these guys? But I'm going to assume it's Rick, and I'm going to put him up here. They don't stand in well, it seems. At all. So, I'm going to have to muff around with that a little bit. See if I figure out a way to get him to stand, you know, without turpling over. There's also a thing to win a $1,500 shopping spree at McFarland Toys in here. That's what this was, which is pretty cool. McFarland makes some really, really cool things. Oh, this is kind of gross, but kind of cool. This is soap on a rope. Walking Dead. It's ears. Just like Daryl's Walker necklace. That's kind of creepy, but kind of cool. Um, also, we have... Oh, by the way, I get the girl add-on. So, the next two things are the girl add-on. There are these Espionage Cosmetic Nail Decals, which I used to be really big about. Like, I used to love these things. Um, I get my nails done now, but... These are still pretty cool. Working with the horses, the nail decals used to just come right off. So, I used to not like using them. But, I might take these with me to the nail salon and be like, can you make that on my nails? <laughs> and my favorite thing in this crate, I'm not going to lie, I actually looked in the crate before I opened it. For you guys, my favorite thing in the entire crate is this necklace. And it's not because it's Walking Dead. I mean, that's pretty cool in and of itself, and that's probably why a lot of my viewers will like it, but it's because of what it is. First of all, this thing has some weight to it. It's actually pretty heavy. 
but this is a Cherokee Rose. That's what the flower is called. And the Cherokee Rose is a legend that among the Cherokee that when they were exiled and they had to give up their land, the mother grieved very hard because they lost so many children along the way. And from crying so much, the Cherokee roses grew. So on the back piece, it actually says this rose started to grow where the mother's tears fell. Also, there's a mirror inside and it's magnetic. That's why I was having so much trouble getting it open. It's magnetic. Um, last but not least, we have the two books that come with it, the Dead Collection and the This Month's Theme is Dead book. They have a thing in here on how to survive the zombie apocalypse. Um, the Wade into Deadpool, which basically follows how Wade Wilson became Deadpool. Um, the Mega Crate this month, which is really awesome, um, mostly because of a leather motorcycle jacket that it comes with that is Deadpool inspired. Um, there's a quiz as to which Walking Dead character you are. I'm going to actually do this really quick. Um, you have to check off the one gene you are. So I've got mostly the tan color, which, surprise, is Daryl. I, I knew that one was going to be it, because Daryl's the loner, and I'm pretty much a loner too. So, oh, there's a recipe in here for tacos, because Deadpool. Um, Raw Coley from iZombie, which is actually a super cool series that is on Netflix right now. If you haven't watched it and you're into zombies, you should probably watch it. It's really neat. Now, there was also an X uh, an X Force variant of the Deadpool figure. I got the regular Deadpool figure, which is fine. And Daryl and a zombie were also options, but I got Rick, which is also fine, I guess. So, anyway, it's time to flip the kite. This kite's actually pretty fancy. I'm getting a little bit better at flipping their crates too. Someone told me that if you push the bottom and push at the top here, they'll pop really easy and actually do. So, flip the crate, flip the crate. Oh, this kit is actually pretty cool. It's actually one of my favorite colors. It's red, purple, and black, which, like I said, they are my favorite colors. Purple, especially. I just realized how awesome the silver in my hair shows up on this video. Nice. But, so, there's our crate. <laughs> Alright, that's all. I'm really sorry if this seems very, like, not my normal hyper self. I'm actually sick, and I've been working too much, and I'm very tired, and I'm behind on my schoolwork. So that's why it took so long to post this, but I will try, try, try to be more regular, especially with vlogs. I'm going to try to post them every Friday, even though my life is really not that interesting. I'm going to see what I can do. I've also got a GoPro, so we're going to see how that works out. All right, it's been fun. This is Angel, signing out. Bye-bye.